What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how to uh, display coordinates in terms of uh, nothing, easting and elevations without uh, the help of uh, AutoLisp. I'm going to open up my Civil 3D application and then uh, the bottom here I'm going to change uh, the working space and if you're not able to, to see this uh, uh, setting, just go to customization at the uh, bottom right corner and click on it just click on the customization and uh, make sure that the working space work, working space switching is checked so just click on it if, it if it's not ticked so I'm going to change that to drafting and annotation and then uh, I'm going to draw a simple uh, triangle drawing so click there anywhere around the screen and then I'm going to choose dimensions and the uh, rectangle let's give it uh, I'm going to make it 50 yes and uh, hit enter then the width I will make 30 hit enter and then I'm going to click there and then click ZE to zoom uh, so this is our triangle so we're going to uh, we're going to insert uh, points around the uh, the edges around the vertices of this triangle so uh, in order to uh, create a point you just uh, type you just use, use a command uh, called point P O I N T just type in and then hit enter and then uh, you're going to specify the point make sure that you select the intersection so I've selected the intersection and I'm going to click the first point there and you can see that it's, uh, it's like there's nothing uh, that is being displayed so we can change the settings of the of the point by uh, making making sure that you click at this point to display or show the menu bar just show the menu bar then go to format tab and click on uh, point set point style so i'm going to select this one here and uh, i'm going to make the point size to be around uh, two and click enter now i have the first point there so let's first of all uh, display the points uh, the uh, coordinates of this particular point and then we are going to copy uh, the others so uh, type le uh, for q leader le and then hit enter and then uh, it's, uh, you can see specify the first uh, leader point the first leader point click uh, at the center of that point and uh, drag out the uh, that uh, arrow click somewhere there and then right click three times that's one two three I said to right click not to left click then you expand that so inside uh, this uh, text box you are going to right click and go to input field and then uh, under field category uh, click on it and select objects and then uh, make sure that uh, object is selected and under object type click on this uh, select object again so that we can select at uh, this point it is this point that we want click on that and then uh, under property I go to position so when you're dealing with points you always select position but if it was a circle you would have uh, a selection here or I would have uh, something like center so we are going to also look at uh, how to to label uh, the coordinates of a center of a, a circle so select position and uh, the format I'm going to select decimal and then uh, first we are going to insert the coordinates of the easting so click additional format and type uh, the prefix we are going to type E equals to and click OK so it, it will automatically insert the coordinates of easting 
and then click K. So I can drag this. You can see now we have uh, the coordinates of uh, easting. So enter to, uh, and then right click again, go to insert field, and then object again, go to select that point and go to position again. This time round we want the coordinates of uh, Y and check the X and then go to additional. Uh, so we type then for east uh, for nothing equals to that is prefix and uh, additional text click ok and uh, click ok now we have the coordinates of uh, nothing enter to uh, now right click we want to add the elevation input field then click on uh, object type uh, then go to position, uh, select Z, and check Y, go to additional format, and then the pref uh, prefix is Z equals to, uh, click OK, uh, click OK. Now, uh, you can see now we have the complete uh, uh, coordinates I can click and change the color or the the color to red like that now what we're going to do let's just copy everything copy including make sure that you copy uh, the arrow or the and then including the uh, that point that we just created so that uh, you're going to right click and go to clipboard and copy right click and uh, paste so that you can paste here and make sure that you, you under the snapping tool intersection is active so click there to repeat the same process hit enter so that you can paste again and uh, hit enter again and so that we have uh, those points but now you can see as you copy as you cop as you copy the the uh, coordinates are zero zero let's do uh, ge for regeneration uh, sorry uh, click uh, regeneration click that and you can see now uh, the coordinates have been updated to the correct uh, coordinates you can see this negative 23 760 that's uh, uh, easting uh, 23 760 23 810 and this one uh, 23810 so uh, the coordinates are now proper they are accurate you can go ahead and re get rid of uh, that triangle like that or you can just leave it like that now let's let's have a look at uh, how to insert the coordinates of a circle just select uh, under drawing select uh, a circle and click anywhere and then let's make a circle of, uh, of about uh, six radius is six click enter now we're going to repeat the same process type le for a q leader click enter and then uh, we're going to to select the first leader point Make sure that uh, the center, under the snapping tool, you select center and node. You can deselect this one. So click uh, the center of that circle. Click, uh, drag it and click anywhere. Not drag, just uh, pull the uh, cursor away and then click anywhere. Right click three times. One, two, three. Then uh, you can drag 
means right click inside just the same process go to insert field uh, under field category make sure that you select object and select object go to object type click on that and we select uh, this circle and then uh, under properties you can now see uh, the, the uh, properties have changed this time round and you can see there's no position here so we select center for center of the circle and then uh, the position you can you can change the position to two and then uh, select x for e, uh, uh, easting addition of format under prefix type e equals to and then click ok make sure that elevation is deselected and uh, click ok so you can pull that a little bit enter right click again go to insert field uh, we select again the circle just repeat the same same process center then this time round we want y we select x go to additional format under prefix just type n equals uh, click ok and click ok hit enter again right click insert uh, field select object the object is this circle so center then this time round is z then uh, z then click ok and click ok so this time round we have uh, the coordinates of uh, Let's change that. Now we have the coordinates of uh, center of a circle. So those are the two methods uh, that you can use to display the coordinates of a uh, point and, uh, and the points of the coordinates of a circle, the center of a circle. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.